on showbiz now and ladies and gentlemen she's here in the studio with me and we're talking about women in the showbiz industry and how far she's been able to put herself on the map here in ghana and out there in the world and what she has to endure to get to this point though i mean as we progress we'll bring some of the exclusives that she has for us on the show as well hello dear swag good to see you and uh, how, how are things going on for you I'm so doing far? Great. I'm doing great. I'm getting to um, hang out with my media people. You know, it's mm. always lovely when we go on our media tours. So visiting a lot of radio stations, TV stations. Thank you guys for having us. <laughs> <laughs> so what, when you're not having time for us and touring and doing all that, what are you doing for yourself? Um, I mean, if you're asking how I relax, I like to watch series. Okay, yes, you, you I love just, series a yes, lot? Yes, I like oh, to I watch like series. Like local just, ones or foreign both? ones? Both. Both, okay. yeah. I just like to relax and chill a lot. Either that or I'm in the studio or I'm working. Mm, but you spend most of your time in the studio, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. I see. So, what was the last time you hit the studio or you came out of the studio? Um, It's basically downstairs. So, I just. Oh, <laughs> so you pop in anytime you yes, want to come out? Yes, anytime oh. I want to work. It's basically around me. There was some time I used to attach my mic next to my bed. Mm -hmm. So, yes. I like to have my work close to me. So. Oh, ah, yes. so would you describe yourself as a workaholic? No, I wouldn't say I'm a workaholic, but I think I would say I'm somebody who knows when it's time to work and oh, when okay. it's time to play. I see. You I play a lot. That. I mean, if we work hard, we play harder. So how do you play? <laughs> Football, basketball, or basketball. Oh, you, so I guess right. <laughs> oh man, I did. I did good. I did good. All right. So, so maybe next time we'll get to the court and then oh. show me. I'll are you sure you're I'm I'm a serious I'm a serious player I'm, it's no not idea. a joke oh for real yes I'm really good I've given up <laughs> <laughs> anyway so, so tell me I mean it's been a journey mm -hmm. you know right from <laughs> where you started and where you are right now yeah um, sometimes a lot of people think that the industry is not doing much for the females out there and mm -hmm. people have complained severally we have others who have given up because they couldn't take in some of the demands from those who wanted to help I, I mean you have gone through all that process mm -hmm. and here you are how did you do it um i think for me it's a lot of determination and also i really love my talent okay yes and i believe that i have an amazing voice and like sometimes when i think about the things that hinder um you um giving out what it is that you have i don't mm. think the balance it's not worth it I believe that the world should hear my voice. So whatever it is that I have to go through to be able to put my message out there, I have to like endure it. And I think it's part of growth mm. that you have to go through some things. So I think for me, it's a lot of determination and knowing what I am meant to do. Mm. Yes. At what point in your life, you know, moving from where you started from, mm -hmm. did you get to receive a certain offers, mm -hmm. like in exchange of what the person wants to do for you? and uh, you, you decided to make a decision from there was it after you you started or maybe in the middle of it you started getting all those offers give me this and i give you that oh honestly it's i mean depending on what the barter is it's business sometimes you have to barter if sometimes if you do a song with an artist um, they get to do a song with you and you get to do a song with them and mm. it depends on what the barter is and what kind of relationship you have with the other party mm. you know because sometimes you can't pay um the artist because maybe if you're having a show and you have some friends who are artists there's a way to like um, structure it so okay. that maybe everybody gets something good out of it but then it's not like you have to pay them fully because maybe you don't have the finances mm. to actually acquire all the artists that you want but I mean sometimes we do things for our friends mm. because we are friends and because we've all been through a lot together yeah. and yeah. it's been quite a journey and I wouldn't say I took it just by myself there's been a lot of artists in Ghana who have also helped me to get to where it is I am so when they call on me I mean as a favor I would definitely do what I can for them depending on how it suits my brand mm. and my pricing I see yes. uh, has there been a point in time where a fellow artist want, wants to do something with you, work with you, or mm -hmm. you want to do work with the person, and the mm -hmm. person will go like, if you have been liking you behind the scenes for a long time now, mm -hmm. I don't need you doing anything for me in, in return of what I'm doing for you, mm -hmm. then just, just hang out with me, make love to me, you know, let's let's have sexual oh. conversations and all of that. They, he doesn't even care about you doing a song in the payback or whatever it is. But the thing is, they would never dare. Oh, really? I'm not the one. How do you do it? I'm too powerful. The thing is, you respect me. How powerful are you? I am powerful. I am a woman. And I have instilled that power in myself. So nobody would ever disrespect me in that way. It has never. 
For real? Never. All the journey, your processes. Wait, which one way? of them? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to know. No, I put myself in a position where they see me as their equal. They would not come at me like that. They would actually come at me in a much more respectful way, where they will know that we can still make money for both of us, but you don't. You would never. And that's because I have made it clear that okay. I'm not the one. Seriously. I see. Yes. But I mean, you have a lot of other women around you. Yes. I mean, those you started with and mm -hmm. couldn't even make it to this mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. But how, how difficult it is for you guys in this industry of show business here in Ghana? Um, I believe that the thing is, it's the numbers. It's not difficult, it's the numbers. You have to get the numbers on your side. If you have the numbers and the people who are organizing the shows, the people who are um, making it happen, mm. know that you have the numbers. If they know that if they put you on their show, you're going to bring 20,000 people to the show, you don't have to struggle or fight for your position. It's already given to you. And I believe that if everybody puts in the amount of work that is supposed to be put in and you get your numbers up, Nobody can stop you if you're if you're if you're like rolling in a million streams mm. a week. <laughs> yeah. They will fight for you, and then you can tell them what it is that you want. And I believe that that's the power that the men have been able to acquire. That we also need to insist on making for ourselves. It's not about anybody. It's about us and where we want to take what it is that we feel and know that we're doing. So you guys are not doing enough. Is that what you're saying? I would say that some of them are not, but that's the thing. Do they know? that they're not doing enough mm -hmm. and I believe that as direction comes we should all advise each other and help each other even sometimes get advice from the men mm -hmm. on how they get their numbers to come up do you understand mm -hmm. so that it's not like it's not a competition we are all from the same Ghana if in the end one of us wins the Grammy they're gonna say that's that person from Ghana yeah. who has put Ghana on the map so I believe that if we feel like the men have some tricks under their sleeves that we should be able to learn let's go to them and ask them hey how did you get those streams on Spotify? Mm -hmm. Then he'll be like, well, you know, we put adverts here, we put adverts there, we're monetizing here, and sometimes you don't know. And then you're like, oh, okay, so if I do the advert on Instagram, or if I check my um, mobilizations on Instagram, yeah. and apparently you know that only 10% of the people that follow you actually see your posts. Exactly. Yes, so there's the structure to it for people to actually see what it is that you're capable of doing. And if you know that that work is amazing, the people will come because the people are the ones that make the superstar. Mm. Yes. But interestingly, there's an internal struggle amongst you guys. Mm. It's more like everybody wants to be the superhero. Everybody wants to be the one everybody's looking at. I think that's just normal competition. It keeps you on your toes. You can't feel like you can just be in the front. Mm. You have to look behind because there's people coming. Mm. So you have to be on your toes. You have to be aware. And I think it's just competition, which is good for life in mm. itself, because you can't be you can't be lazy. When you see that somebody is doing something you don't want to do, it has to trigger you and be like, mm, "I must do something above that." And yeah. that is not bad. That's not bickering. That is healthy competition. And I mean, it is encouraged. Mm. Yes. Mm. Uh, so sometimes we hear that people say, um, "You know, I've tried all that I can." You know, I'm a young artists coming up i'm a female and then i get to you know this person wants to help me and the person is talking about you know having sexual or whatever it is with me before mm. the person that helps me i mean how do you see that do you have people young guys mm. female who mm -hmm. want to do this come to you talk mm -hmm. to you about this yes. and what do you tell them i tell them that if you feel like you need somebody's help in that way then stop because but that's more like killing your career. I that's mean. not killing your career. That's you. If you do that, you're killing your career. If you give yourself to somebody on the notion that they're going to make you great, mm. you're killing your career. You will never be the woman that you but feel yourself to achieve. Yourself you to be. To achieve. I mean, will the you? The world will be looking at you. The world. The person has those resources. The, the money to push you to where you're supposed to be. This, it's is, all about money. this is where we talk about mental health. You've got to protect your mental health. Mm. Do you think that knowing that somebody controls you in that way is going to be good for your mental health? The people that do that come out in the end and say it never really helped, even though they got the attention, they got the money. Mm. But then you, you lose a part of yourself. That makes you who you really are. And there's nothing like payback when you did it to yourself. Because you can't tell anything. You can't 
it's like, how am I going to complain when I did it to myself? And I believe that no matter what it is, you should find a way to, to not make, there's other ways. Mm -hmm. You don't have to give yourself to anybody. And in other instances, for example, it now becomes a problem. That is if you have a manager and you're dating. Mm -hmm. It becomes a problem because it's either you're giving your attention to your manager or the studio or mm -hmm. the man that you're dating. Mm -hmm. Has it been very difficult for you to date because you're in show business? Your manager wants you doing the job at every point in time? No, it hasn't because I have my priorities, right? I know when it's time to work. When it's time to work, it's not time to play. Mm -hmm. And when it's time to play, you can play. But even when you're playing and you have to work, you have to know which one comes first. What, what, which one is more important to you? Are you going to cash that check? Mm. Or you're going to get a slap? It's up to you. Honestly, I say every day. When you wake up in the morning, it's up to you to be a good person or a bad person. You're the one that makes that decision. Like, yes, there's stresses going on yeah. that will peer pressure mm -hmm. and everything but before you make that move you make that move mm. so i know it's hard it's not easy mm. it's not easy it makes me want to ask if you're even dating the first it's not and easy. how you're combining all that it's not easy it's not easy being in the industry as a woman but it can be done one of the biggest superstars in the world is a woman mm -hmm. And she's married with three kids. Come on. So it's a fair dating. It's no, I'm not. You're not dating. No, please. Then it means it's difficult for you to get That's somebody who will take you as you and not like a fear. My girlfriend is a fear. No, <laughs> it's not. It's not even because I'm not dating. I was dating. I've been oh, okay. Doing this. Yes, I'm not dating right now. And how did it go? It was the great. Wasn't complaining. No, why would you you're complain? You're playing shows in Yankee. You're with West Kid. You're with who and who and. Why would, jealous. You, why would you complain if you're jealous you can't be with me because i'm too fly like <laughs> you're gonna what then you have to match my fly so you're not jealous because if i'm wearing something you like yeah. better go and wear something that is nicer then then i'll be like ah take off that one and give it to me <laughs> it's better if even if we compromise like it's not like we have to complement each other yeah. in every way whatsoever so when you get to that level in a relationship there's nothing like jealousy because I'm hanging out with superstars. Mm. No, you're proud of me because I'm doing amazing things. You have to concentrate on the good part. Mm. If you concentrate on the, hey, where are you? Where were you last night? What's going on? Man, yeah. you out, you here. Was it the reason why you, you broke up with the, with No, the, that's not why. That was a different issue altogether. Are you trying to get gist? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to see how you, 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 like you talk about complimenting that. So I'm just trying to see how you no, push yourself not, because there are young ones coming out. I know. Who also find themselves but the in lesson that situation, is, the you know? lesson is find somebody that understands what you want to do. Mm. That's the, that's one thing that's very important. Okay. Otherwise, they won't understand you. And that's another and then issue. That's, together. and the communication in the beginning is very, very vital, so that the person knows what kind of person you are. You are. Okay. You have to. Act, let your truth be known in the beginning. I see. Yes. Gina is on the line and wants to talk to us. FBI is here. We're talking about women in show business. And I know lots of them are there. <laughs> we'll be talking about so many things, but it's all good. Gina! Good afternoon. Afternoon. Sorry, I kept you waiting. FBI is in here. We're talking about women in show business. And um, please, I want to tell you, yeah. <laughs> Thank her very much for saying that she's a woman and then oh. she's very powerful so she doesn't allow other men in the industry to take advantage of it. Mm. That's really, really, really a nice statement she really made. She, she really made that uh, statement the most used, like most of the youth in the industry, mm. the female youth in the industry because most of them allow themselves for their managers and all those people to make, take advantage of them. Yeah. So I really thank you for that statement. And I'm jealous of the handbag. It's oh, nice. she does it to you. Oh, she's generous. <laughs> She'll give it to you. So but, thank you. Uh, yeah, she's out of the song, Woman, as well. So check check that one, two hours. Very mm. powerful one. And you can also give us a call. Let us know what you think here on the show. This is Showbiz now. We're talking about women in showbiz. And the number is on your screen. Ajwa is on. Ajwa. Hello, Ajwa. Yeah, hello. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> How are you wow. doing, yeah? Oh, I'm good. Tell me, Sophia, that I really love she's, her. She's, yeah, she's listening to you, so talk to her. <laughs> oh, 
bag from Georgia Ma. He's one of my favorite uh, designers. Uh, yeah. My it's bag beautiful. is popping. Thank you, girl. <laughs> go get you a man. I can get you one of these, though. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, so go get a man. You'll get a bag. No, worry. get the, no, honestly, get the bag yourself. You can. Oh, no, no, no. no. Make, let me to school. <laughs> Why not? I got you. I see. So, I mean, you, you're not putting stuff together for your album. You're releasing singles. And yes, all. we are. We're dropping the singles. The, um, we're not dropping the album this year, though. Um, hmm. So, we're dropping the singles so that everybody enjoys it. We dropped Love. We dropped um, Until the Dawn. We dropped Who Man, Woman. And yeah. now we have Mommy. Uh -huh. And we probably give you two more before. Give me a minute. Let me pick Barbara. I'm sure she's oh. also going to talk about your bag. No. <laughs> Barbara. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good and you. I'm well. Afia is in here. Okay. Hello, Afia. Hi, sweetie. Oh, you're looking so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I like your top. I really like. I love it. Don't thank you. Like. Thank you. Very soon, you're going to be able to get one just for yourself. I promise. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a I great really day. Love you, okay. I love you too, darling. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. So if you came here and then all of a sudden the girls the are girls calling. Really love me and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Mary's on. Mary. <laughs> Mary, are you there? Hello, Asia. Mary. <laughs> Mary, I'm here. Asia. Mary. Oh, Mary. I really like your song with Mr. Easy. Thank you, Mary. And the uh, woman. Thank you. Thank you so woman, much. I did it for you. Woman. Hey, woman, is man cry. <laughs> and I like your top. Thank it's you. Really nice. <laughs> She says very soon you'll be getting one for yourself, okay? <laughs> so watch out, yeah. Um, keep. Hello? Yeah, hello. Yeah, what's up? Nothing much. If you guys in here? Oh, okay, so if you want to say hi. Hi, sweetie, how are you? I'm fine. Are you having a good day? Yeah, sure. Are you being a strong woman? Yeah. Amen. Sorry. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so many thanks. You can also give us a call. We're talking about women in showbiz, and okay, who's on? Hey, Kings, right? Yes. Patience. Yes. Hello, Patience. Hi. How are you doing? Fine. I'm loving your colors. You're really looking good in them. Thank you. If you are, oh, yeah. no, five, five hi, against one. <laughs> hi, sweetie. Hi. Hi. You're really doing amazing. Thank you. I want to keep urging you on. I am one of your super fans. Thank you. Thank you so, so I'm much. I'm to the type of world you are in. I do choral music, but I'm telling you, Thank you're you. amazing. Thank you so much. And Thank you so much. We appreciate you too for doing a kind of music that you love to do. I would love to hear you sometime. Yeah. Definitely. Thank Definitely. you. <laughs> All right. So maybe we'll pick the last person. Francesca is on. Francesca. Hello. Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Hello. Good, good afternoon, Mafia. Good afternoon, Francesca. You're having a nice day. I can feel your top. I like it so Thank much. you. Thank you. Very soon you'll get one for yourself, okay? Okay. Okay. Please. I want to meet you one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, yeah. One-on-one, -on -one, eh? <laughs> okay, you know, yeah. we, we, we have the girl talk birthday hangouts and stuff so if you like you can just put your name up for it or tweet at me okay and i'll add you to one of the list that's of the parties that's coming up and then we can meet okay 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 thank you so much yeah, and i also want to put something across yeah do it put, quick put it baby <laughs> um the celebrity women are really suffering in ghana mm -hmm. yeah they're they are really getting a uh, uh, really head Okay. And when they put up pictures and things on social media, people have to say positive, negative things about them. Mm -hmm. And that's not really helping us. Mm -hmm. If you want the women to really go and move forward, you have to put positive things. Okay. All right. I think Thank the point you. is well made. That's what you've been addressing all yes, this while. Yes. You know, and mean, even recent issues that we have with Wendy Shea and all of that. So, mm -hmm. yes, uh, Fia has been addressing that. See that? We've got to wrap up. That your fans 
what you want to tell them before um, we say goodbye. Um, darlings, thank you so much for having us. Um, we love you, we love you, we love you. Like, if I don't say it enough, just know that we love you. We have amazing merch coming out soon. Thanks for everybody that gave us the shout outs. And keep it live. Go watch the new video on YouTube and check it out. It's on my Instagram, it's on my Facebook. Love you, love you. We're coming to a city very, 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 very mm. soon. Mwah. Ging yeah, if you thanks so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Novel, you're a fan of the fear and you love the fear so much. It's good to know that you're hanging there and you're hanging around. Of course, folks, it's been a profitable 13 minutes. My name is KMJ. I was born to talk. I would like to say thank you to Afia and to you for watching to the production team. It's been amazing. We love you. We're back tomorrow at 12, right here on Showbiz Now. Until then.